Semantic segmentation is an important task in computer vision. It is the process of classifying each image pixel into a class label. Semantic segmentation helps the computer to understand the environment in which they are operating. Its application includes self-driving car, medical image analysis and many more. Hi friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn about ResUnit. REST unit or we can say the deep residual unit. REST unit is a fully convolutional neural network that is designed to get high performance with fewer parameters. It is an improvement over the existing unit architecture. REST unit takes the advantage of both the unit architecture and the deep residual learning. Here in the left you can see the building block for the REST unit architecture. It mainly consists of three encoder block, three decoder block and a bridge connecting both the encoder and the decoder. Pre-activated residual block. It is the main building block for the REST unit architecture. It consists of two convolution blocks, where each convolution block consists of a batch normalization, ReLU, and a convolution layer. Next is the identity mapping. Identity mapping connects the input and output of the convolutional block. Now we are going to build our REST unit architecture in TensorFlow, Keras API. So we can have a look at this figure 2 in this in the original REST unit paper. They have given this complete block diagram, and we are going to use this diagram to build our architect and here in figure 1 you can also see the 3 by 3 basic convolution block of the unit which is replaced by this residual block basically pre-activated residual block pre-activated residual block uses batch normalization relu and then convolution of using vn and then so let's start the code i have already imported the layers and the model class now we will define our build resonant class and it's going to uh, take the shape the image parameter. Now we will define the in input okay, and it's going to take shape of the input image. Next we will start with our first encoder. You can see the first encoder block uses convolution, VN, ReLU, convolution, and an addition with this identity mapping. So, identity mapping is basically a one by one convolution. So, within each convolution layer, we need to specify the number of filters. And here we can see the table one start with 64, gradually increases 128, 6, then 512, and decreases 6, 1. Same thing. There first. Number of filters is before a three by three kernel. Padding is going to stride is going to be one. Strides. Stride it strides. The input is going to be inputs. Input layer which we have created above. Next is going to be a batch normalization and a relu. And if you look at this entire diagram, the architecture of the REST unit, we can see batch normalization and relu are repeating everywhere. So instead of writing them from where, we can build a simple function where we specify the batch normalization and relu activation. Batch norm. batch norm inputs next is going to be relu activation relu now we're going to return the output of the relu activation x i'm going to use this batch norm relu function here after the convolution layer batch norm relu Okay, now again we need to have a convolution layer. You can copy this layer from here, provide it a different input, the output for this relu. So these first three layers are completed. Now these four layers are completed. Now we need to add. 
again we need one identity mapping that one by one convolution we can say identity mapping as s refers to the shortcut so x variable basically refer to the main main flow s refers to the uh, shortcut the rest of my name means strategy again 60 this time we use a one by one convolution padding and stride are going to be now input is going to be again inputs input layer which we have specified above now we're going to add them this going to be s1 s1 let's add x plus s so s1 refers to the skip connection if s with any number is there this means the skip connection the first skip connection with the diagram again so you can see after addition this feature map is also acting as a skip connection for the appropriate decoder s1 refers to as the skip connection okay now you can see the first encoder block is completed move to the diagram again you can see the next decoder the next second and third decoder are basically the pre-activated residual block so let's write a function for them also because this pre-residual activate sorry this pre-activated residual block is also used in the decoder we can write a function for it residual block we just sometimes speak incorrectly that pre-activated residual block sorry if i pronounce incorrectly so take inputs filters and a stride because this architecture does not use any max pooling it used strided convolution to reduce the spatial dimension i will look at the table one okay so you can see in table one strided convolution is used so stride is two for the second and the third encoder block that's the first convolution okay so so by default the stride value for the stride is going to be one so if you don't provide any value for the stride then convolution no strided convolution diagram again you can see how to start the encoder second so start with the bn relu function then a convolution going to be that's norm relu. then a convolution copy it from it and to code again again filters is going to be three by three okay and stride is going to be replaced by the stride variable stride value is going to be provided by the user input is going to be x and again the same thing going to see the diagram again bn relu cone addition the one by one cone let me copy this and here the stride is going to be one so this is the main convolution layer right? On layers and now we're going to work upon the shortcut identity map if we can copy the show or we can use this not this one this one because we also need to provide the same guided right value a shortcut also it's going to use a one by one convolution and input is going to be the original inputs now we can add this add addition x is equals to x plus we can see this is a x as the output for this block written x our uh, like encoder 2 and encoder 3 are ready Two. What we can do now, we can simply write two goes to residual block. Input is going to S1 128. So the number of feature channels double in each encoder block, and stride is going to be two. Same thing, copying this thing and replacing name s2 with s3 so this is skip connection 3 input for this result block will be 
number of pre-gen and and study is going to remain same so now the bridge encoder part is complete the bridge is also same you can see the residual block again that residual block is studied convolution look at the table one you can see bridge level 4 bridge level 4 5 and 8 is 3 by 3 number of filters and doubles 512 and is studied column same thing copy this indentation is so we can call it b b refers to bridge s3 is going to be number of 500 is going to be provided now comes the decoder block The diagram again the diagram is really helpful let's start with up sampling by to up sampling and then we're going to concatenate the skip connection and then a rest will block so how do we know that it's by to up sampling we can take a look at the table 2 here it is output size is also which outputs a size of 2 28 by 20 56 then again 112 and then again 24 that is original resolution so we're going to follow these steps up sampling concatenation and the rest will you can write this function decoder block decoder block the input the connection the features number of filters when decoder block number of filters decreases by two filters this input divided by two that's ready so first is up sampling a two by two up sampling next we can concatenate order and the decoder features now the residual block going to be s filters card is going to be one so we need add the decoder one b one let's because x basically refers to main flow decoder block input is going to the output of the bridge that is b number of filters are okay not the filter that is this i mean to specify the skip connection is skip connection so the skip connection is going to be s3 have a look so for the decoder one s3 that is look at the diagram the encoder 3 act as a skip connection the output for the encoder 3 act as skip that is s3 number of filters are 256 again order block so there are three decoder block now the input for the second encoder block would be the output of first encoder and skip connection for second number of filters divided by 2 that's 128 order block put would be x Skip connection from the order uh, one s1 channels will be 64. The decoder block one to a three are completed so easily because we have written a function above. So if you if you write this function, it for you do not have to repeat lines again for productive save times. Also, use something is multiple time you can build a function and then use the thing now decoder part is complete now we need at the layer last layer is basically a convolution and a sigmoid function okay basically the classifier layer classifier outputs outputs is basically 
portion b is going to be so here we need to specify the number of channels the number of channels we classes we let's say we have one class for binary segmenting we want a one by one conversation padding is going to remain same and activation we can activation is sigmoid okay so input is going to be x the output of the last decoder block now we can define the model model is equals to model puts the output then the model let's uh, call this check if it's working or there is any issue if let's say as when model build mode build resume okay print this summary there's some error Okay, we have error in the line to twelve block part at the the decoder part that is the twelve block as one. Addition. Here we can see shapes don't match while matching the. Do one thing, take it straight. Go again. This two twenty four. K for X here is two twenty four, and S is one. Check that. And it should be two twenty four. Is something going on? So I pause the video and and what silly mistake we've done is. and that's the in mistake at the end okay again a lot of for that okay and finally we get our architecture you can see if given hope will we have learned how what is resonate and build it.
here as API. That's all. And please don't forget to subscribe the channel.